Hello and welcome back to Spooky Game Month. I guess that's what I'll just be called from now on. For the entirety of month of October, I am going to be playing Spooky Games. I explain it more in detail in my last video. You can go back and watch that for a more further explanation of what we're doing. Today, we're going to be playing Hellblade, Senoa's Sacrifice. As a matter of fact, we are going to be playing this game Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as it takes the place of Dot .hack quarantine. Then Dot .hack quarantine will return in November. Also included is this webcam that uh, I have set because spooky games kind of like having webcams available to see reactions to, to see if I jump or scream or just ah, ah, do one of those that might happen I'm not the biggest fan of spooky games but we played a lot of them last year and I put some of them in a folder to play again and this was one of them I like this game. It's a very psychological horror type game where you play as Sinua, who has multiple voices just echoing all throughout her head. So the entire time that you're playing, there's just these whispers that are going back and forth. And she seems to be plagued by dark visions and surrounded by death. So makes for a really interesting main character. I thought the game was really neat. I thought the art style was beautiful. And I was really looking forward to getting back and playing this game at some point. And I figure Spooky Game Month is that time to play again. And if we're playing it three times a week, we might beat it. And if we do, another game will take its place. So without further ado, let's get in the game. All right, we can use the controller for this one. So I'm gonna use the Xbox controller and we're gonna continue. I actually had to go back and watch my video from October just to see like any tutorials, anything that I missed. They didn't really give you too much of a tutorial in combat. Just kind of threw you into things. You have like a dodge and a parry, but uh, yeah, well, it'll just be interesting to see how it goes. All right, this is right where we left off. It's really zoomed in. In order to get past and get to this point, we have to go get the keys uh, from multiple gods, like the God of Fire and the Goddess of something. That's through these doors. My eyes starting to irritate me. How about we start with the God of Fire? Smolder. Soot. Soot. The Fire Giant has answered. Fire Giant. He comes from a land older than mankind. And the Northmen call upon his flaming sword to raise their enemies to the ground. Time to go slay the fire giant. Is there a run? She found the wretched old fool on her way back from the wilds. An outcast. He's badly burnt all over. Where should she go? Pity on him. She'll just stick to the path. World. Like her. Who spoke of his own darkness. There's a face here. The Northmen. Can I interact with the face? Does the face talk to me? It like vibrates right here. Do I have to be at a certain angle? Thank you. 
Why is it vibrating? Thought I had to be at like a certain angle and the face starts to talk to me or something. So I gotta keep fighting. this Just like within this area, forget how big the area of looking for that is. Definitely look like the Y. Let's 
tend to get louder here. And not it? I wish this part was a lot easier. It's like you look at this one, and you think that's the why. It's not. I'm gonna come back to it. Just gotta be at a certain angle. There we go. It's a lot easier to find. The path to Hellheim is sealed for the living. But you already walk amongst the dead. Look towards the gate, and you will see that it has opened. fire over there. Perhaps that's where we find a fire giant. After fighting people here, I take it?
to go this way. This wasn't open before. Did we die? It looks like it, because that just got more of that on my arm. I was hearing the voices saying, you're going the wrong way, so I was like, oh, okay, I'm not supposed to go this way. The Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, the Northmen tell this story. Before the Earth was created, there was a world called Muspels. Because it was in the south, it was bright and hot, flaming, burning. Sparks that flew out from Muspel became the stars. Other sparks melted ice in the frozen world of Niflheim, creating the body of the first giant, Ymir. Muspel is one of the nine worlds and is now the land of fire giants and people from elsewhere cannot endure a journey there I think it's just like a collectible thing say that the defender of Muspel is called Surt, the foremost of the fire giants. His name means the Black One, because he is like something burnt. The Northmen believe that he sits at the border of Muspel with his flaming sword, and at the end of the world he will leave his post. He will travel to Asgard and Midgard, waging war against all the gods. He will be victorious, and then burn the whole world with fire. Sounds like a swell person. Can't 
get up this way. Was there a way over here that I didn't see? No. Oh, there's a cave right here. The Northmen made fire sacrifices, burning slaves like me to reveal the path to Soot. I searched for meaning in their suffering, in their eyes. But they just screamed like helpless pigs. I think it says once I hit that. Where am I going? I'm going off at this and then that way. Alright. to the mic just Like your someone. gods answer your prayers, Senua. I asked the gods for mercy, all of them, even theirs. None answered. In the end, I set myself free. Defy the gods, Senua. Find your own path, like I find mine. My gods abandoned me. I am alone. Sorry, <laughs> someone had the mic in their mouth. Another one. In some letters. Let's see what is here before we go to the letters. Looks like a hall of some kind. Oh, uh, maybe a storage. destroyed someday. They call it Ragnarok, the destiny of the gods. Asgard will be attacked by Surt and the fire giants. A monstrous wolf will swallow the sun, and the gods will fight in vain against their enemies. There is nothing they can do to prevent it, but Odin ever seeks knowledge and magic, hoping, hoping to find a way to postpone that dark day. Sounds metal. It's a blacksmith. Hmm. 
mainly looking for those ruins. Kind of enjoying the story of Sir. The Northmen of Hell worship the devourers, insatiable gods of darkness. I come from Eren, Senor, where I once followed my own gods, the Tuatha de Danann. Why did you abandon the gods? Senua, I was a man of knowledge, not a warrior. To survive, I did things. Bad things. What's me? Like you, Senua. The man I once was has died. And when that happens, even gods you worship can die with you. I think this is where I probably have to go inside the house and like climb around over this way. Because why else would it have me go there? If I could just walk to that little rune there. It's the reason this is here. Try to get something at a certain angle. to go is it right down this way it is right down that direction all right through that. Oh, got her on fire. <laughs> I bet you have to run around in through the house and go around.
that guy again. We run through the house, through this burning building. Made me go all the way around. Let's do a balancing game. This is perfectly fine during a fire. We got this. We got this. to go this way as well before we go there let's see what's across the bridge I see letters don't really have an inventory I don't really have to look for any Items. It would be nice if we could get something that was like a healing. The Northmen say that at Ragnarok, the sons of Muspel will travel to battle in the ship called Nagalfar, the corpse ship. And when the sons of Muspel leave the ship and ride to battle, it will be as though the sky had split open, and Surt will lead them. Wherever he goes, flame will erupt before him, and fires will burn behind him. I saw a thing that we could do to go over here and up. Oh, I guess we can't climb up. Thought it was about the same height as the other one. Oh boy, another one. 
guess we might as well familiarize ourselves with the layout. I'm gonna have to come up here to look at something. Fast way down, can't do the little slide thing. How did you escape your darkness? Once I found my purpose, I was no longer enslaved to the suffering I had to endure to reach it. Unclouded by fear, I could see it clearly in others. Even my captors feared the fire of Cert. And so, during one raid, I took chance and ran, knowing that they would not follow. The fool ran into the fire. <laughs> they left me for dead. Maybe they were right to. But here I am. Free. I'm glad I found you in the wilds. I wouldn't have made it without you. get that now this is clearly right here this is the symbol we're looking for oh no maybe it's on the other side yeah I gotta get around to the other end look at it from here Climb that tower. This reminds me of those Riddler puzzles in uh, was it Arkham City. Oh, my controller just gave out on me. Come on, come back to me. There it goes.
I am just not seeing where this is supposed to go. I'm trying to hear like if a voice changes or alters. nothing seems to want to line up so the other one must be in this building Those two are relatively easy to find. Was that the symbol we were looking for up there? Was the one that's left? Crap, I think it is. Alright, let's go back to it then. The sounds the loudest. Everything is quiet when I look in, though. Makes me think this is involved, and along with this stick here. But I don't see anything. Cross it. Let's wait. There it is. Top of that roof and this stick. Damn. That was really, really, really well hidden. other two were like kind of obvious that was the one that was just like really difficult <clears throat> let's go and try and not catch ourselves on fire the fire. 
fire. We're not actually on fire. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This darkness takes everything. Everyone. Shadow. Are you sure you want to do this? We can fight this together, side by side. We always do. This is my battle. I have to face it alone. Away from here. Where will you go? I don't know. For how long? I don't know. I believe in you. You know that. Just promise me that you will come back to me. I want you to say it. I want you to say it. I will come back to you. I promise. Giants are a lot shorter than I remember. Oh, apparently blocking is not a thing. Oh. So we're we just not able to dodge this guy? I guess not. See what's happening. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die here. So it's just all dodge.
having a struggle. I thought I was going to lose that one. That's pretty badass. fall. Even the gods have their time. Yet we still go on. Why? I made a promise. Mm. And I will go to hell to keep it. I die free. Knowing you will carry my stories with you. Extinguish defeat search. Alright, I guess we just walk back. No, uh, just immediately being over there, huh? Just gonna walk on back. Truth was a troubled man. A scholar turned slave. They tortured him. Took him with them on their raids. Truth. Spreading this new form of darkness to new worlds. To my world. Can I go past this thing? Senua saw a deep connection form between the North Wind. ever died before? It's a serious question. An illusion of self is shattered. You simply cease to be. Though it may not seem that way to others, you know when it is true. You can feel it. A stranger in your own body. An imposter. Oh no, there's nobody here. Nothing is the same ever again. Senua has died before. And she will do so again. You can be sure of that. And now we're back here. I have to go right into a fight, though. Take him down. Take him
there'd be a way to break the shield. The Northmen say that in the beginning, never got that one. But darkness, bitter cold to the north, fiery hot to the south. They say the cold formed ice, which melted from the sparks from the south. The power of the darkness gave life to the dripping ice, and the first giant was born, and was named Emir. The ice continued to drip, and the power of the void gave life to it, and it became a cow whose milk fed the giant. That's right, a cow. But you weren't expecting that. I wasn't. All right. Well, we're uh, at the end. Or not at the end, but at the checkpoint. I was actually just hoping to go here and then end from where we left off. I'm going to pause it, though. Um, so there you have it. That is an episode of Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. Um, got those puzzles that they have you to match things up. Well, difficult. I remember doing things like that in Arkham City with the Riddler puzzles where you had to line up question marks. It would be like the dot and then the circle, but it would be green. So it was like, you, you can see where it's at. You just had to get it the right angle to line it all up. And sometimes those symbols are easy to find. Other times, they're not. So, uh, yeah, I guess I wouldn't like it if they just painted it like a bright green or yellow anyways to make it really easy to find the things it's all about really listening because the sounds change and shift when you listen but that last one that we found i couldn't figure out the sounds on that one it was just like looking around and, and trying to find that this stick had to have something to do with it and then finding kind of where i could put it to line everything up but there you have it. I enjoy the combat. I'm doing actually pretty good in the combat. I think all the uh, Souls-like games that I've played in the past are finally paying off in uh, this type of combat here. Just dodge and parry and attack and dodge and parry and attack and dodge and parry and attack. Kind of seems to be how the combat goes on this. And the way that they just appear in front of you too. Like the character designs on everything. Just absolutely brutal. It's something right off of a metal album cover. I really enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. I know this video is going to be long, as is it's over an hour, but that just happens to be how this month goes. A little longer videos. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next spooky video. Bye.